Hello guys, and we're back with Guild Wars 2, and we can carry on with the story. Hey. Hey, over here. It's that way. Gee, thanks. I knew you wouldn't leave me to rot. Vark's crew takes care of its own. <laughs> I don't want to be too negative, but I absolutely hate it here. That makes two of us. Now to get you out. Easier said than done. The door opens only to the correct code. If you try and fail, it sets off an alarm. There's a golem upstairs that generates the code. It changes all the time. Even the guards check it before they open the door. Then I'll check it too. And knock its block off. I'll be back as soon as I retrieve the code from its smoking ruins. Architecture is. I've seen enough. Let's go. We need those prisoners. Don't let them escape. I I actually genuinely did not know that code. I actually just guessed it. I'm gonna be honest, because I couldn't see the code on that robot at all. <laughs> so.
I appreciate the save, but there's more to do. The inquest has grandiose plans for our teleporter at Reina Landing. We should tell Vark. Or not. He's involved. I overheard the inquest saying that he told them of our ambush. That doesn't make sense. Unless there was something in it for him. Vark does like control, power. What'd they offer? He's maneuvering for a seat on the council. With the inquest backing, he'd have all the influence he could ever want. Oh, yeah? Well, after what he did to us, he deserves a gigantic screwdriver influenced into his skull. I may not be at a hundred percent, but I want in. Good. You and Zoja meet me at Reina Landing. I won't let the inquest keep our invention, but I will show them the power of a real genius at work. Move on to the next part. What is this? Who let the inquest into Reina Landing? And why are they throwing a party? It looks like Teo and her crew are showing off the invention they stole from us. And the inquest never does anything this public without at least three ulterior motives. Then we have ample reason to interrupt them. And we're replete with reasons to kick Teo down a flight of stairs. Two excellent ideas, but so hard to choose. I know. Let's do them both. Yeah. It'll be like having our cake and kicking it, too. Look out, Inquest. It's payback time. Welcome. Prepare to be astonished by the one and only original astrospatial displacement zapper. Just press a button, and your target is whisked away to any destination you choose. No receiving gate required. Here, have an up-close and personal demonstration. Your patter mm -hmm. smells worse than fertilizer golem exhaust, Teo. It's a trap, you ignoramuses. What's cooking, genius? Ha! <laughs> Don't get used to being called that, by the way. I was being ironic. Behold! Our first large-scale demonstration!
Mateo's been a mite in my ear for a long time. Thanks for helping me take her down. Sorry about your invention, though. It wasn't my invention. It was the inquest's abuse of my invention. I'm glad to see it go. Time to move on to other projects. What about the people Teo zapped out of here? Where are they? Leave that to Mr. Sparkles and me. We'll locate Teo's victims, punt a few inquests around, make a day of it. That sounds like fun. Color me jealous. Thanks for all your help, Zoja. We College of Synergetics alumni should stick together. Count on it, Savant. I don't say this to everybody. Well, not anybody really, but I would love to work with you again. That makes two of us. Hang on a second. Did you just call me Savant? I did. Your crew won the SNAF prize, and Paul has graciously ceded the title to you. It's the least I can do. You did do most of the work. Plus, you saved me from being caramelized like sugar in a skillet. In other words, you've earned it. I'll tell the council to make it official. Keep up the good work, Savant. I'll be seeing you soon. New mini. This is a fine. Hmm. That's not bad. Uh, just so people know, the Winter's Day Christmas event is currently active on God Wars, so that's why you might see like Christmas presents and snow and whatnot. I got your message. It was a tad on the cranky side, even for you. What's on your mind? Violence. What do you know about a wretched little pipsqueak named Kudu? Cross-reference criminal, megalomaniac, and plagiarist. I've heard of him. He's an inquest bigwig now, but he used to be Snaff's apprentice. Then you came along and Snaff traded up. That's him. Now, out of pure spite, Kudu's invited me to watch him demonstrate some sort of weather-changing device for the Arcane Council. My first invention was a weather changer. I called it the Variable Atmospheric Conditioner. Good old Vac. It got me accepted to college. It was pretty rough, but it worked, mostly. And if Kudu is using my invention without giving me credit, I'll call him out in front of the whole council. I was hoping you'd say that. Get a copy of your blueprints from the archives. We'll wipe that smug little smirk off Kudu's insufferable face.
right there guys, so I'm gonna end episode 3 here, and I'll see you again in episode 4. Hope you liked the video, and share it out to your friends.